How are we looking today? Bit ugly? About as ugly as usual? Oh, check out my new, my new shirt, my new merch. Went and saw these guys on the weekend. Sick. Um, right, well. Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Pierce and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over everything that's wrong with my S15. Hi buddy. This is Kevin. This is Willow. Hey boy. Check. That's lick, but okay, you're a good boy. Yeah. You have to use a key to unlock it. Fuel gauge doesn't work unless you tap it. Check out that perfect front bar fitment. Ooh. Looks good. Oh, yep, you guessed it. Mint fitment here. The throw out bearing shot. The gear knob's not aligned properly. I can't turn it anymore. <laughs> it's got this sweet touch screen. But I think one speaker works. It's got a stupid turbo timer. Ashtray is broken. The glove box is broken. The seat belts don't retract properly. Well, I did it that time. What about all the other time? Wall mats, I've had it. It's leaking a lot of gearbox oil. The interior is sexy. The rear is even worse. Let me go play with her. It's got the wrong mirror. The wheels are fake. They're rashed. The steering wheel is nasty. Oh. <laughs> the wipers have had it. It's at least three shades of white. It's rusty, it's dirty, it's got a dirty big pod filter. The power steering fluid is old and low. The engine is eating oil and eating coolant. Must be hungry. The radiator's gonna pop any day. The wiring loom is interesting. It's got 2000s era blue hose connectors, blue coolant lines. It's got a wicked boost tee with a nice blue hose. And yeah, you guessed it, held on by zip ties. Someone's cut a nasty hole out for the intercooler. There's a dent in the front bar. Scratches here in the paint. Large chips here. It's got a dodgy audio install. Someone had a little accident in the rear. Has no coil pack cover. The diff leaks. Passenger window switch doesn't work. Now it does. The aircon doesn't work. The clutch fluid is as old as your granny. We've got nasty flickering LEDs. You can hardly see out the back window. The shift boot is all broken. The interior door trim's failing. Plastic center console means a really good clean. It's intercooled. Exterior trims are perishing. The wiper arms need replacing. The windscreen washers don't work because someone set it up as a water mist system. It's had a minor front end bingle. The paint's peeling. The seals are all dried out. The wing's been removed. What is going on here? Rear bar needs repainting. The headlights are almost useless. The tires are West Lake. It's on King Spring Lowering Springs. Look who painted this. What has this bar been through? The headlight lenses need polishing. Uh, well that pretty much concludes the walk around and everything I can think of off the top of my head that is wrong with our S15. I always say our S15. What I mean is my S15, but like the channel's S15, ours, whatever. It's like, it's your car, basically. Like, 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 like. I'm like one of those schoolgirls. Like, 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 like and subscribe. Oh! Some days the hair just works. So on this channel guys, we pretty much do uh, car related stuff at the moment. The only car I've got is the S15. So we're focusing all our attention on that. Um, trying to decide what coilovers to put on the car, sort of as we speak, I was just looking before. We are trying to decide between BCs, some MCA, Race Primes, I think they're called. And I'm also in contact with Shockworks at the moment uh, down in Melbourne, trying to work out, I guess, what price point they are and then sort of make a decision. So I really want to just get the BCs because they are cheap and I know that they work and, that, and they'll be fine for now. I'm sure the MCAs are better, um, but I'm just trying to justify that price tag. The reason I'm leaning towards the MCAs, as uh, some of you let me know in the comments, uh, one of you in particular, I can't remember your name, 
Um, but apparently the MCAs are better at fitting wheels. A common problem with these you run into when you start putting on coilovers, it makes the strut area wider and that comes into contact with your wheel unless you've got a pretty low offset wheel. So trying to avoid having to replace the wheels, it seems kind of counterproductive to buy suspension. Uh, that's gonna make me need to change the wheels and spend, you know, a thousand plus dollars on some wheels. So hopefully we don't need to do that, but it, it is one of those things, it's a bit tricky to work out online, what fits, what doesn't. Seems like every coilover is slightly different. Uh, some have adjustment in the top bolt of the front lower mounting that you can use to like pull the coilover away from the wheel. Some, some seem to have more of that like elongated bolt hole and others seem to just have a, a straight bolt hole. So I think that's what the BCs are lacking is a lot of adjustment down near the coilover. Uh, whereas MCA, it looks like they have a larger hole. Apparently that isn't designed to make it fit. Uh, it's designed to add gamut to the wheel, according to MCA. So been sending them some emails as well. So thanks to the guys there for responding and putting up with me. If you've got any good ideas for videos you'd like me to do or things you'd like me to tackle first on the car, uh, you can drop those down in the comments below. That helps me out because apparently I struggle at, at coming up with good ideas for videos. It seems like it's all been done before, so. Trying to be creative with my video ideas, but let me know if you guys have anything you want to see that'll help me out. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, we've still got a fair bit of work to do on the S15, so you can hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date and follow along with this build. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a short one for today. I uh, thought it might be a little bit of an entertaining idea. Uh, you can let me know what you guys thought of it with the like, dislike button, or you can let me know down in the comments what you thought, so. That's going to be it. Thanks, guys. Boy. I could smudge on it. Weep, weep, weep.